UVM men's hockey team, on the other hand, Jack, they've taken a slightly different route. Yeah, the women are going to lean heavily on transfers, but the men's team spent this offseason plugging just a couple of holes. Yeah, I think part of that is honestly um, understanding that we're happy with what we did last year. We, we took a step forward, um, but we're not satisfied in any way. It is year two of the Steve Wiedler era here in Burlington, his first full campaign since the removal of the interim tag back in February. In recent years, the offseason has typically seen an influx of transfers here in Burlington, but that isn't the case this year. Last year we had four. The year before that we went at six or something like that. We were really selective this year in terms of who we brought in out of the transfer portal. Just two new cats with collegiate experience, and both of them come from big-time programs. Keenan Rance here was a backup goalie on the Minnesota State team that went to the national title game in 2022 before serving as the starter for a tournament team the following year. Yeah, I know the biggest thing just that I wanted to bring with me here is just the work ethic and the compete level. That's something that was kind of demanded out of us the last three years there. And I already know here that it might even be higher than that. And Sebastian Tornquist joins his older brother Philip here in Burlington after a year at UMass. Yeah, no, it feels good. Uh, a lot of memories going back to when we were younger. I mean, we've done everything together since we've grown up. Uh, played a couple years together. Then obviously we, we did our own paths, but it feels good to be back on ice together again. It's been a fairly limited opportunity for the new guys to get out on the ice with their teammates, but they say it should pay dividends come October. It's been good to meet the, the D course so far and that um, they all seem like really, really good guys off the ice and also really good guys on the ice too. So. I know we haven't gotten too much into the systems part yet with all that stuff. I know when we get back in August, I'll be probably the first meeting with the D Corps. Obviously, these four weeks have gone by really fast because we have had a lot of fun off the ice and on the ice too uh, together. But it's going to be nice to get two weeks of recharge at home, uh, charge the batteries again, do some more workouts, maybe some more skates. But uh, coming back uh, late August is going to be is going to be amazing. And there is certainly a level of expectation with this new core. Definitely going to be a, a tournament team this year. That's the goal. That's the standard. I feel like everyone in the room is feeling like we, we should be in the tournament. And the way we've been working this summer on the ice, off the ice, together as a group has been that standard. And I don't see why we wouldn't be able to achieve that.